Hey, Miles here, milesbeckler.com. In this video, you're gonna learn more about your distribution channel in your online business. I really wanna help clarify the idea of your distribution channel versus the products. And I'm gonna give you a few examples that are gonna help you understand where the real value lies in your business. Because online business owners who understand this and they focus their energy in a way that kind of resembles or reflects this understanding to grow their business, this is really the difference between people making a few hundred to a few thousand dollars a month on their online businesses to people making tens of thousands of dollars or hundreds of thousands of dollars per month in their online businesses and even more to be perfectly honest. So the short answer, and I'm gonna give it to you straight out of the gates here is that your email list is your best distribution channel for your online business. But we're gonna go deeper. And the first place I wanna start is to look at traditional distribution channels and help you understand the value of these distribution channels. Amazon.com is a great place to start because what they did is really disrupt the old school distribution channel model. The old channel had a lot of middlemen and warehouses and factories that ultimately got products into shopping malls where you and I would walk around with our families and we would go shopping at the different stores. Now user behavior has shifted and what we are able to do today is we go online to a search engine that's amazon.com and we're able to browse billions of products. It might not be billions, definitely millions of products and we're able to browse these, click and purchase and what happens is Amazon has buildings the size of shopping malls or larger, and they're just housing wholesale products able to be shipped and delivered in two days. Here's a really important piece of that puzzle for you to remember. Amazon does not own all of the products sitting in Amazon's warehouses or listed on Amazon's websites. Third parties who play FBA or fulfilled by Amazon type games create the products, white label the products, ship the products to Amazon to be fulfilled by Amazon. Amazon lists them on their website and ultimately distributes those products through their search engine website and their distribution channel directly to consumers when they're purchased. Starbucks is another great example. Something like 27,000 Starbucks. And some people might think, well, Starbucks sells coffee. Coffee might be the product, but what Starbucks is really good at is real estate and distributing products. A lot of those products are coffee, but the variety of products that are distributed through Starbucks are way more than just coffee. Coffee, tea, food, snacks, reusable, refillable cups, uh, gift cards, music, CDs, all kinds of things are actually distributed through Starbucks. And the Starbucks brand and the Starbucks kind of distribution center truly is the value of it. Now, why did Amazon recently purchase Whole Foods for $14 billion? Was it for all of the inventory? Is there a lot of fruits and vegetables in there that Amazon, that Jeff Bezos said, there's some value in there. I gotta get my hands on that. Or was it the idea of a new addition of a supply chain or a distribution network that they could average or leverage with Amazon.com? Amazon's gonna be putting lockers in every single kind of uh, Whole Foods inside of the stores, and they're creating a courier service that's going to compete with uh, UPS and with FedEx, and they need drop off and pickup points. These Whole Foods are gonna be a great location for that. And then Amazon is able to take the products currently distributed buy Whole Foods with their kind of old school distribution channel, they're gonna apply their new school, the amazon.com new school distribution channel, and they're already testing for Amazon Prime members to deliver to your home products in two hours from amazon.com for free if you're a Prime member and you spend a minimum spend. Think about that for a minute. The grocery store will bring you your food for free in two hours if you're a Prime member if you spend a minimum spend of $40 or $50. That's absolutely revolutionary. And what's the revolutionary part? It's the distribution channel. It's how they're distributing the products, not the products themselves. So let's flip this back. Let's get this back into internet, into, into terms that are digestible to you as a small internet startup, kind of small online business owner. Your distribution channel is the most valuable asset within your online business, period. That is a true statement. That is a complete statement. It's not your products. It's not necessarily your website. That could be a piece. Most, for most online businesses, pretty much everyone I know of, 
it's the email list. Now, is your fan page with 50,000 fans potentially a distribution channel? Sure. Is your Twitter account with 12,000 Twitter followers? Sure. Is your Instagram account? Possibly. Is this YouTube channel with my 45,000 or so subscribers a distribution channel for me? Kind of, it is. And when I do reviews, some people click through from the videos to purchase, but I have enough data in my business, my wife's business, and all my friends' businesses who I've met along the path of going to conferences that 90 plus percent of our sales all come directly from our email list because that is where we get personal intimate access to others email box. And we have the ability to gain trust and create likability through effective email marketing. And you know, I've talked about this a lot on the channel. You got to give them no like and trust. You got to give more value than you ask in return. You really got to do the jab, 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 right hook approach that Gary Vaynerchuk talks about a lot. But ultimately from a big picture, kind of up in the cloud standpoint, I want you to realize that your email list is absolutely your most valuable asset in your business. And this is why JV partners and affiliates, when, when an affiliate manager reaches out to me, for example, um, they want me to email my list. That is their ultimate goal. When an affiliate's like, Hey miles, I'd love you to take a look at this product. We think it'd be great for your audience. We think you'd make good money on it. If you mail it out, their goal is to get me to mail it. Would they appreciate me doing a review on this channel of it? Of course they would. They like all the press they can get. And they know that some clicks would come from that, but they all know without beyond a shadow of a doubt that it's me emailing a direct, you need this. Here's the problem that solves. Check it out here. Type email. That's where all the money is in it for them. And that's why I rarely email product launches and I rarely email for the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of affiliate products that reach out to me all the time, trying to get me to mail for them. It's because I honor your attention and I honor your kind of path and the process that you're on. And I don't want to confuse you or distract you with shiny objects. And my goal for you is to truly help you understand what it takes to build a successful online business and understand what a successful online business looks like focused on that email list as your main distribution channel, and then to help you grow that. That's why I created the DIY sales funnel video series, which shows you even in the first video of how to create a opt-in page that's going to be live. It's on WordPress. It costs a couple of hundred dollars versus spending thousands of dollars with some of the other tools. So you could start growing your email list. Now, one other caveat here, the size of the email list and the size of your distribution channel does not always make that big of a difference. In fact, email list size and subscriber size is often a vanity metric that doesn't necessarily directly attribute to more value. There's a lot of people who will join email lists to see what's going on and to get something for free. But the percentage of people who truly respond to offers is generally going to be much smaller. So I have a personal belief that small lists of responsive people and really good relationships are more valuable than large lists of kind of not strong relationships. And that's why you could find scammers online selling you email lists of a million people and you could go buy a million email addresses and you could go mail them out and you would technically be a spammer. And obviously don't do that. It's a terrible idea. I'm trying to paint a picture here for you to help you understand the other side. You could send them all a great promotion for a great product that truly would help them, but they're going to receive this email from somebody they don't know. They don't know who you are. They have no idea why you're emailing them. They're starting to wonder how you got their email address. They're looking for the report spam button at this moment, and they want nothing to do with you. And you are not only going to be putting yourself in a potentially legal issue here, but you're not going to make any sales because there's no relationship there. Whereas on the other side, if you have a list of a couple of hundred people and you You've spent time helping these individuals take steps and get farther along their path towards the goal that they want or farther away from the things that they fear and don't want, you are becoming a trusted advisor. And when you send an offer to this list of two or 300 people to a product, whether that's your product, a book on Amazon, some other affiliate training that you found that you're promoting as a joint venture, then 
a large percentage of these people. And based on percentages, a much larger percentage of this list will listen to you. They'll click, they'll take a look at the sales messaging. And if that sales messaging works, they'll ultimately click through and purchase. And that is the biggest goal. And it really does start with small lists. I just through the Accelerator program, uh, they just closed their doors. I sent out a few emails about it. I did one video. I've tracked all of my clicks. Over 80% of the clicks of people who were interested in this went from my email list, which has about 3,500 people, even though I put a video up here on my YouTube channel, which has 45,000 subscribers, 80% of clicks that I sent their way as an affiliate came from my email list of 3,500 people. That's that's like 10%, right? It's 90 plus percent smaller of a number, but I got much, much, much higher click-through rates to get that. And ultimately, one of the more interesting things was after the first mailing, uh, John Benson got on the phone with me because he he was like, who is this Miles guy who just sent me a bunch of sales? And I outperformed some big time names with lists in the hundreds of thousands. And I'm talking big time names that you would know. These are, these are gurus, full on like guru on a mountain type internet marketers who also mailed the accelerator, but they got a tiny conversion rate because they're either constantly pitching or they've just grown this bloated list and they don't actually have a relationship with the individuals. I've taken time and since my list was 10 subscribers, 20 subscribers, 30 subscribers, and more, right? Over the last year plus, I've been sending out goodwill emails. I've been sending out as helpful of information as I can to nurture this distribution channel. I know that at some point in the future, when I have an opportunity to offer you something that you truly want and that will actually help you in your business, I wanna make sure you get it that this is one of the few things that's gonna help you on your path to your business because that's my goal for you is to help you with that process. When you believe me and trust and you've been on my list long enough to to read the emails and to know that I actually am in integrity and I stand behind that kind of goal and mission that I'm on, then when I say this is one of those ones that you really, really want to check out and it's disappearing forever, you're going to take the action. And you need to be applying that to your list and to your online business. If you're not growing a list right now, that is absolutely the top priority for you to implement because your list is your distribution channel and you have to grow your list distribution channel. Then then if you are growing a list or once you're starting to grow your list, even when it's 10 and 20 and 30 and 50 subscribers, you need to be mailing them more than just offers. You need to be mailing them goodwill emails that are helpful, that are insightful, that are entertaining, that are informative, that really just help you be a real person. I share tidbits from my life. I share bits about business, philosophical ideas. I do link people to my videos sometimes from my list. It's all over the place. And I just kind of keep a conversation going with my readers of my email list. Then as your list continues to grow, because you're focused on those steps and those tasks that will grow your distribution channel and the relationship with that distribution channel continues to strengthen when the timing's right for you to make an offer and sell a product whether this is a product you create a service that you're offering or a product as an affiliate that someone else has created and put together for you it doesn't matter you have a group of people who are interested in your take on these things they trust that your goal is to help them along their path to achieve their goals or avoid their fears and when you make a solid recommendation that this is one of the few things you need to take it to the next level a percentage of those people will click they'll take a look if there's good sales copy if there's good conversion kind of built into that sales letter that you sent them to or that video sales letter if it's built correctly you will make sales and ultimately you will generate revenue and that's how your business grows and that is the difference truly between a business that has spikes of income and they make a grand here and then nothing and they make a grand there and nothing and the businesses that are able to consistently make ten thousand thirty thousand fifty thousand hundred thousand dollars per month it's because they've built a distribution channel that can be relied on and for us 90% of our types of businesses, that is our email list. Facebook is has created, I mean, Facebook is ultimately or essentially a big distribution channel. What does Facebook distribute? Advertisements. They've got 2 billion monthly active users on their system. People log in to see what their grandma's doing, what their friends are doing, where people have been, and to post selfies of where they've been in their lives. And Facebook is able to distribute advertising. Google has created a distribution channel for advertising also, based on search results. I have a question, how do I fix something on my Jeep? I go to 
go to Google and I type in, how do I fix something on my Jeep? And Google will say, here's the answers. And it'll be surrounded with advertisements. And Google is distributing advertisements through that tool. If we don't have the tech skills to build or compete with these gigantic mega corporations, which I don't, and if you're watching this, you don't, what can we do? We build our email list and then we grow a relationship with that email list. It starts small and the numbers are small and it may feel awkward when you're sending a broadcast out to 10 subscribers, but no, if you stick with it, that will grow to a hundred, that will grow to thousands, and then it can hit tens of thousands. And that's where things get really, really interesting. In the old days of direct mail, people used to rent each other's email lists. There were list services where you could go rent an email list. So I could essentially rent the addresses from everyone who subscribes to a magazine and I could send them mails. It costs thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to rent those email lists or those mailing lists. Today, we can create it all on our own. It just takes a simple WordPress site built with Thrive as I show you in the DIY sales funnel. You can get started with an email list management system like Aweber for about $19 per month. And at that point, you have truly all you need from a foundational standpoint to create a very successful, highly leveraged, extremely lucrative business online because it's all based around that email connection that you have with people. And you earn that by giving away something of value. You earn their trust by continuing to give more value than you ask for. And then when that timing's right and the conversation gets to that point where they want this, you've been talking about here, and that's the product that'll get them what they want, it becomes easy. And it's simply a mechanism to help them get what they already want. You just send them an email, get them in touch with the person who has what they need to get the result they want. You win because you get a commission. They win because they get the one tool that's truly going to help them on their path towards the goal which they desire. And obviously the vendor wins because some random person, you just generated a sale and connected them with a new customer who they wouldn't have met without you. It's a total win, win, win situation when you get it set up right always move forward with integrity, grow your list the right way, right? Use an opt-in page, give away something of value. Be sure you're truly opting them in before you build the relationship. And that's the second part. Be sure you take time to build the relationship. Don't just try to throw offers to your list. They will unsubscribe. They will not take your kind of recommendations at all. They won't care about your recommendations. They can tell, they can smell it from a mile away. But when you do it right, I can tell you, my wife and I have done this multiple times over. I've helped dozens, if not hundreds of friends create highly lucrative, highly leveraged businesses based on this exact model. It all comes down and revolves around that email list. And it's not the size of the list that matters. It's the strength of the relationship that matters. And you strengthen your relationship with your list by giving value to your list. So the two do's, the big takeaways at the end of all of this is number one, focus your energy on the activities that will grow your email list. That can be content marketing like I'm doing here with free items and then recommending people join your list. If you'd like to join my list, go to milesbeckler.com forward slash millions. I'll have it pop up here in the corner. You can click that. It'll open a new tab. I'll give you access to my free report. It's my free report that shows how I went from a side hustle internet business to a business that's made over a million dollars in profit in I'll show you the path, seven steps. There's seven things we did on that path. So there's my opt-in. You need to have one of these. So the content marketing is how we reach the audience. That opt-in call to action is how we convert. And then you build a relationship through effective email marketing, which is giving lots of value. So once you're on my list, no, I've got a lot of good stuff that I'll be sending out to you over the weeks. I rarely send promotional offers. And when I do, they're only those items that I know for a fact are truly gonna help you take steps towards creating the successful online business you desire. That is your approach too. Be of service to an audience, invite them into your inner circle through email marketing, help them on their path to prove that you can help them and that will grow the trust. And when the time's right and you send the offer via email, you'll be amazed at the results. Even if you have a hundred people on your list, 300 people on your list, 
500 people on your list. My list is only 3,500 people. I love every single one of these subscribers. It does amazing things when you work this business right. You can get a lot of leverage on your side. And that's it. I really wanted to communicate this idea. I hope it was clear. If you made it towards the end, comment hashtag badass in the comments so I know that you didn't just watch the first few minutes of comment. You made it to the end. Cheers to you for making it to the end. There's a lot to be said about that. Then go follow through. Take that next step. If you need to get your opt-in page built, get that built. Check out my DIY sales funnel video. I'll have it pop up here on the end screen. And ultimately, I look forward to connecting with you on the next video to continue to help you along the path. I'll also have a, a button on the end screen that'll take you to my free list opt-in for that free course if you'd like. And I will see you in a couple of days with my next free video to continue to help you on your path to success growing your online business. Thanks for your time. And I look forward to connecting with you again soon.